policies. Bill Maher has someone, is someone who's been painted by the left and the right as a bigot. Once on his show, Bill Maher mentioned the high rates of support for the death penalty for the crime of atheism in Muslim communities. In response, Dean Obidala, who is a comedian, an author, and a liberal Muslim, attempted to defend the Muslim countries by pointing out errors in the statistics Maher used. Let me quote his piece on CNN. He says, a 2013 Pew poll actually found that only 64% of Egyptians supported this. By this he means de the death penalty. Still alarmingly high, but not 90%. And only 13 Muslim nations have penalties for apostasy, while 34 do not. Now, can we realistically imagine something like that being published if it was about any other minority in an honest effort to downplay the horror? What if it was only 64% of Americans support the death penalty for converts to Islam? Muslims don't have it that bad. Only 64% of French citizens support the death penalty for Algerian immigrants, or only 64% of Americans support the death penalty for homosexuality. How bad is the situation, how terrible the human rights abuses, and how little the worth of the life of a human being when 64% is viewed as a defensive statistic? If the situation was that a fully third of Western nations had legalized the murder of Muslims, how appalled would we be? What would the left's reaction be? As an ex-Muslim, I am horrified that something like this would be published on a website of a major news organization and not a single voice was raised in outrage. Why is my life worth less? Does my simply being raised in an Islamic tradition grant the Islamic religious right over, over ownership over me and my body? grant them license to murder me and my fellow atheists? The claim actually being made by citing this statistic was that Maher was supposedly making too much of a fuss of atheist persecution by Muslims. Now, I do not wish to denigrate...